It's not Machete Monday if you do it on Tuesday. It's the Machete Tuesday. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Machete Monday. Now today is Tuesday because yesterday was Memorial Day and I was working on a dent in my couch. Um, we have a machete that was lent to me by my next door neighbor who was also a surveyor for quite some time. He surveyed in uh, the Florida Panhandle, which is just as ugly when you talk about thicket. What we have here is the Hansa, made in Ecuador. And I believe this is the, is it called the Lampoon uh, Gal Gallo, Gal Galeo, the Lampoon, National Lampoon. I don't know what it's called, but it's a big, bump, beefy, chunky kind of machete, man. It's got a lot of weight forward to it. Um, yeah, Alabama Thicket, let's get in here. Yeah, man, that's like swinging a brush axe with a handle. That's really going through some stuff. Get over here where y'all can watch this thing work. Now, it's funny because me and my neighbor had never met well, before I moved into this house, but we have a lot of the same uh, preferences when it comes to machetes, particularly the carbon steel, the length. I believe this is 21 inches uh, or 24, no less than 22. Get out of here, bush. Um, but he also is a fan of wrapping handles in tennis tape this head tennis tape and man i tell you what it's it's like holding a it's like holding a marshmallow it's just nice and padded and soft in there for your hand if you're going to be swinging this thing all day it's it's nice to have a handle that's just a little bit cushiony for you all right so this is yopon hop this inkberry this is uh greenbrier Bracken fern, we've got a lot of grapevine in here. I guess it's, well, not actually grapes, but scupnon. Um, just a little bit of everything. But this lampoon is a beast, buddy. They actually gave me two machetes. Man, that went right through that sucker. He gave me two, two or three machetes, I think. And, uh, this just happened to be the one that I grabbed first. It's, uh, pretty common for surveyors to paint their knife, you know, pink or orange or certain color. Cause all too often we stick those things in the ground. You don't even see that. We got that yellow handle sticking up some pink and, uh, it really sucks whenever you lose your knife. Let's go find something harder. Hey guys, I just got to jump in here real quick with my main man. This is Winston. Uh, he's not too happy about it. <laughs> okay, uh, I know the audio is pretty bad on this new wireless microphone, but just deal with it, just like he's dealing with the love. Oh, the love. I said, let's find something harder. Boy, did we ever look. This is uh, just a few months ago, we were at this stump. <clears throat> there wasn't any vegetation in front of it. You just see how fast this stuff comes back down here in Alabama. Uh, we tested the trooper the 26 inch trooper on this stump we killed the snake eye tactical uh full tang jungle master let me make sure you guys are straight and uh you can see this is a uh righteous piece of fat wood here so we're gonna do it yes Ooh. Starting to hear that knife sing. Yeah. A little bit of rot in there. But here's the itchy. Hey, neighbor, if I break your knife, I didn't think about that, did I? I didn't buy this knife. I got to give it back. Well, uh, I've seen a couple 
knows, he knows what we do. Uh, seems like she's holding up good. Holding up. Nope. Oh, good. Ain't no use to go out there and chop water oak and all these other hardwoods whenever you've got a big, bunk, nasty, fat, daddy piece of fat wood on the ground, buddy. Look at that. Still gets sappy. Sappy. Oh, man. It's going to be stuck to my fingers for hours now. That's all right. Wipe it off on some of this bracken fern and some of this dog fennel. Hey, man, so this knife was straight when we got it. It's a, it's a bad boy. I don't, I don't know that I would ever go for this particular style of machete. It's definitely a, it's a brush axe in your hand. And, uh, I, I think if I was doing nothing but like that first test video, just heavy, heavy brush, this would probably be a pretty good knife for that. And that, that tennis tape on this handle really, really makes it feel good. Um, I think he said he found he finds these on Machete Specialist, and they're like twenty dollars. So, uh, yeah, the Hansa made in Ecuador. It's twenty-one inches. It's got a sick-ass Puma on there, or I don't know if it's a Puma or not. We do Machete. It's not Jungle Cats. Hey guys, thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Hey, no need to write a song.